Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on this face right here. Um, oh, I like all my hands. If you guys want to see how I got this look right here, then um, please keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome me back. I'm glad to be filming again. Meanwhile, so let's get started. Um, I did my brows off camera and now I'm priming my eyelids with the City Color Shadow Primer. Um, I kind of like this primer. I think my eyelids are a bit too textured sometimes for it just because it pops up. I mean, I wouldn't go out my way to buy this again, but it is what it is. So I'm setting my eyes with the Lorac Pro Palette in the color buff i normally like to use a lighter color on my brow because i don't well on my brow bone because i don't like to highlight it so i just use a color like that and boom this color is um kokomo cafe i'm using this with a fluffy blending brush and i just use this to add some color to my eyelids i always use this color regardless of what kind of eye makeup look i'm doing i just because all the eyeshadow primers maybe it's just me i don't know but they always come out white for some reason so I use Kokomo Cafe to bring some color back into my eyes. And I'm going in with the same blending brush, but this time with the color Tuscany, also from Coastal Scents. Um, I like to use this just to lighten up my eye. I could use this eyeshadow by itself. I love it too. Yeah. And the brush I'm using here is uh, called 214. I got this brush from eBay. And I know it's like this flat, fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with the color Marmalade, also from the Coastal Scents Hot Pots collection. And um, I'm going to hold the brush at an angle so I get within the crease, on the outer crease, and below the crease. Um, just because I want it to be spread out but nicely blended out. And then I'm just going to blend all. So the next color I'm using is Oktoberfest from the Coastal Scents Hot Pot. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous burnt orange brick color it's um it's definitely a buildable eyeshadow it's great i love it to death one of my staples use it very often and i'm going to go in with a small fluffy brush and i'm just going to darker the outer corners of my eyes i um got this brush from what was it ebay and it just came with um a set Great brushes, I mean, I get it's not the most high quality, I guess, but honestly, these brushes work just the same. I'm going to go in with a flat brush and also the foiled eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics. And I do like this eyeshadow palette, it's just all the colors are shimmery, all the colors are shimmery and like foiled, but I think it'll be best if all, if any of these colors are used with some sort of either spray or water or if you just use your finger they'll get more pigmentation out of the palette um so i'm just going to go in and just make sure that it's blended out all over the lid of course this is not going to be the only layer that i'm going to go in with but yeah i'm just going to continue just blending it all in and just patting it away i'm it looks like i'm dragging it but i'm really not i'm just slowly just taking the eyeshadow and just patting away just patting away and then now i'm going to go with another um coastal sense eyeshadow in the color phoenix sun this is a gorgeous gorgeous brighter version of the eyeshadow that i just showed you guys from bh cosmetics and as you can tell it's just going to brighten it up a ton so instead of it looking like a dull orangey color is going to be a whole lot brighter so i'm just going to pat this one on top of that one as well i did wet my brush with a spray from nyx um they have i know they have the matte one and then they have the dewy um face spray and i went in with the dewy one it's called nyx dewy finish and I love it. So I'm going to go back in with the small fluffy brush that I used when I blended out Oktoberfest. And I'm just going to go back in and just kind of just get any harsh lines out of the way. And just go back in. So I did step off camera to finish everything else. And I'm going to go in with the BH Studio Pro Foundation Primer. This is my first time using this foundation primer. I don't 
minded per se. I mean, I don't really have, um, I guess a review, not necessarily a review, but just an opinion about it yet because I haven't used it as much. I just don't like the fact that it makes my skin a little bit ashy. As you can tell on my forehead, I do have some dry spots there. So next I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Perfecting Concealer in the shade Medium Dark. I'm going to use the orange color to color correct. Um, I try to apply a thin layer with a round kabuki brush. And I, I do, I apply it on top of my lip and on the side of my mouth going towards my chin. I don't know why it's, it gets dark around that area, but yeah, like I said, just apply a thin layer and spread it around. I did step off camera to blend it in with my beauty sponge, but now I'm going to go in with the color, um, well, the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Cool Tan. I like to go over my color correcting-ness with a concealer just because I feel like it'll get rid of it. Like, I've tried not doing this on day foundation. It works well. But me, like I said, I'm a full coverage type of girl, and I love when my makeup just looks um, flawless and just blend it in. I don't like any any gas or holes in my foundation. So the beauty sponge I'm using is from Aesthetica. I really do like this beauty sponge. It works well. I also do have the beauty blender and honestly I think it just does the same and the Aesthetica was like $8 for two. Anyways, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade W7. And I'm just going to use a foundation brush a small foundation brush to just apply it all over and then I'm going to go back in with my Seca Beauty Sponge and blend the whole thing out. The foundation base and everything like that is really important to me so I do blend out my foundation for a very long time. Um, you can't really tell in this video because I just cut it up but this was like five minutes worth of editing video. So next, this step is completely optional. I do this from time to time, but it's it's just really warming up the areas around my face that I'm going to go in and bronze. And I went in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal, 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 can't even speak anymore. And the color fawn and I'm just going in with a stippling brush and just blending the color away it is a smidge darker than my actual skin tone so like I said it's just going to add a little bit of color back to my face and then for the highlighting portion I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline super stay better skin concealer and just the Maybelline concealer the super stay is in the color medium 40 and the other just a regular uh, Maybelline concealer in the shade medium 25. I'm using both just because one I'm running out of another and I needed something else to conceal with. And the medium 25 is just a little bit too bright so I'd like to go over with the medium 40 just to blend it out really well. So once again I'm going to go in with my Aesthetica beauty sponge. I'm going in with a different side and then um, you will sorry I had to take a singing break but anyways I'm going to go in with my Aesthetica sponge and just blend blend away um, similar to my foundation process I'm just going to be blending for forever. I do take the bottom part of the sponge where there's foundation and I normally pass around the edges of my highlight just so it can blend in a lot more better or a lot more nicer with my foundation. And then to go in, I'm actually going to go in with the Elf Cosmetics blush, blush Brush. And I'm using the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup and um, Camouflage 
powder, which is a white powder that was I felt was too white for me, and I feel like the butterscotch is a little bit too yellow for me. It doesn't brighten as much as I would like it to, so I mix the camouflage and the butterscotch together, and it makes my perfect setting powder. And I'm gonna add more powder to my fine lines areas. And then I'm going to go in with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and the color medium. And I'm just going to buff that in to set the rest of my face. And then I'm going to go with the BH Cosmetic Contour Palette. And I'm going to get the second to lightest shade to not really contour, just because I don't necessarily care about contour. I think it's just like a little bit of bronzing, just to add a little bit of color to the rest of my face. And of course, I'm going to do that on the house, my cheeks, um, my forehead, my temple, down my chin area. And then I always go back in with my blush brush that has a little bit of the powder on it and just go in and just blend everything out together. Now, of course, I just always go back in just to make it a little bit darker if it's not dark enough. Of course, however you want it to make your skin however light, it's all optional. And then I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant Palette to highlight my face. I'm just going to highlight the cheeks, bones, my cheekbones, down my nose, my forehead a little bit. Um, my cupid's bow area, even though I don't have one. And then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Ultra Matte shade in the color Notion. It's a matte color, but I added um, a little bit of oil underneath to keep my lips moisturized, and which is why it's a little bit shiny. But that is a finished look, you guys. Um, hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe, of course, all optional. And um, yeah, see you guys in my next video.